Front four. Look at that. I gave one So a ribbon. <laughs> oh, how fun. A ribbon has turned into three trees. <laughs> I love it. So and, what? And a lot of uh, community involvement. Yes. All the, most, most of this stuff, other people have added when they come by. All right. She ended up on the news this, so lots of people could hear about it. She what? She ended up on the news, being oh, interviewed good. on the news about it. That's so great. Is Now, is this to acknowledge healthcare workers or no. what? No, no, what is it? It was just because. <laughs> <laughs> To bring joy to our pure family. happiness to bring to bring joy yeah yeah that's and it's so very, cool and it's so lighthearted oh so anybody can just come and hang a bow or a ribbon is that the Couple idea glasses, boas that's they have so to cool. find it <laughs> so ha have you all hung something on her trees yeah. I haven't yet. <laughs> I need to. I need to find something. I finally and... came by and did it. Yeah, yeah. Diane was the most recent. Good, Diane. That's so great. I love it. And now, I'm tell so her what you're doing you now. Okay, okay, tell her what you're doing with them now. You're going to take them apart. Okay. She's not there. She's probably walking. Yeah. Well, yeah. She has She's a it. she has a, a large loom that I lent her, and I think she's going to try and um There it is. Yeah. We've been oh, in Oh yeah. So it has a second life. Oh how nice. Yeah. I love that. Where where do you think you'll display the weaving? Do you know? Kate, are you there? Yes. <laughs> you can't hear me? No, Ann no, asked, Ann asked no. you where you're going to display it. At your house. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ann, I don't think that far ahead. I just come up with ideas. How, uh, what, well, well, our, I that, with my the our Fiber Guild has a show, and we're hoping to do it in um, December. That's what the plan was. So okay, that's where that would just... that would be a great place to display it. Yeah, one time. Yeah, yeah. It'd be great if the youth would do a follow up on the weaving. Yeah, I'm sure we could yeah. do that. Yes, that'd be great. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, I have so, a contact now. Yeah. So you you tied one ribbon. How did it how did it start to multiply? What happened? Well, I posted on Facebook. I'll send you I, I'll send you a link. I did a whole album on Facebook. I I put hmm, the day one had maybe a five or six. Most of this was my t shirt yarn. Uh -huh. Or or scraps from cutting t shirts from making these things. Um, so I, I had a lot of scraps to get rid of. Mm -hmm. So then I put a box out front that said, add a ribbon. Oh, okay. There were lots of ribbons and scraps. But as Kathy noticed from the very first post, part of the challenge was I wasn't going to give people my address. You had to go, go find it. Oh. So, so it, it's, it's been found. <laughs> I have forgotten their address, but I did find it one day coming home from Susan's house. But ah. now I've forgotten what street you're on. Ah, 41st. 40th. 41st. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, that's fun. We also have a neighborhood um, Facebook. Facebook page. And Kate okay. did something on the neighborhood Facebook page without her address. Yeah, yeah. Doris, what are you working on? On something red and blue. I just realized it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. How pretty. That's pretty. Perfect. The right color, huh? 
our group also um, was involved in something called um, oh my God. five million stitches. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked that up. That's nice. Yeah, they that's, all pushed that that's, project back. That's how we all gel right. over that yeah. project. That's true. Mm -hmm. And we met at a coffee shop called Friendship Coffee Shop, which was a lovely place to meet on Thursday mornings. And oh, uh, until again. closed. <laughs> okay. Are they, are, is that coffee shop open yet? I think, you know, I went by the other day. I think they have curbside pickup that a lot of places around here are doing right now. But yeah. we also had a little show there that was a month long show that Kate sort of organized, got started, and we had a lot of interest from there um, about for the 25 million stitches project. Um, with little descriptions about what we were doing and why we were doing it. Yeah. It's, it's really interesting how fibers. You know, there's a lot of people using fibers as an organizing tool mm -hmm. to make statements. I think is really great. There, have you guys heard of the Tiny Pricks project? No. Tiny what? Tiny what? Pricks. It's Tiny Pricks. It's a, you can look that up on Instagram. Pricks is what you're saying. Yes. Tiny. Pricks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a it's a play on words. Exactly what you're thinking. <laughs> Well, it, it's you know it's very political. So I mean I I have my own political leanings as we all do, but I try and stay away from it because of the violent protest. I'm trying to be yes. I'm, I'm trying to be more you know apolitical. But uh, yeah. look that up. It's, yeah. it's people are doing embroidery. It's it's embroidery. Yeah. Yeah. People are embroidering Ooh. things and oh, sending them. Hysterical. Oh my god. <laughs> Found it. I'm gonna look it up later. I um really love the idea of um the red and the blue. You know, politically you think of the red states and the blue states, and I think Obama would talk about the idea of violet and purple of bringing them mm -hmm. together. But um I love the idea that the project is open to everybody no matter what their political leaning is, that yeah. it isn't um, leaning liberal, which I always tend to <laughs> lean, but yeah. um, it's nice think, to make it open enough for everybody to be able to feel comfortable and participating. Yeah. Yeah. I actually took some work down off of my, my personal website uh -uh. because I felt like if people saw that work, they might not feel Right. inclined to participate so i had to soften up my website a little bit at least mm -hmm. for it, it'll go yeah. back but um yeah. a anyway, sanitized I, version a it sanitized is version. Well, yeah you know and if i really believe in what i'm saying i i think that we need to maybe stop with the divisive talk and really talk more in unifying tones. So exactly. um, I have to say a lot of my work is very political. So I have to be kind of careful. <laughs> but I, I do believe in this project, I have no idea what what the political leanings are of, of people that are participating. I think I'm getting all different, all different kinds of people, mm -hmm. just people that believe in the American core values that we all grew up believing in, right? Exactly, yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I hear what you're saying about we need to be more unifying, but man, it's hard. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Well, we, we come from Georgia right now, which has been in the news <laughs> constantly, so it's very difficult for us. Yeah. Well, you know, our state is similar to Georgia. It's definitely red but leaning towards blue maybe we don't know but um you know <laughs> this idea that 
they open up. I think everything's getting opened up way too soon and way too fast mm. and way too carelessly. Carelessly. And I think Amen. Georgia is one of the states that I, you know, it's worrisome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Worrisome. Well, we're um, fleeing Georgia, uh, hopefully on Monday, which is probably crazy to do at this time, especially at our age and whatnot. But uh, we usually spend summer up on our sailboat on Lake Champlain in upstate New York. Oh. It's 20 miles from the border. The border's closed. So our marina that usually has 250 or more boats has like five in the water right now because the border's still closed. And so I think we'll be very socially distanced. <laughs> I think it's going to be a very different kind of summer because um, it'll be interesting. Now it's not until I think June 21st that they may open. Uh, so it'll, it'll be interesting. So we're going to drive without stopping and take our food and yeah. be very careful of the gas stations and uh, just get up and okay. get our boat ready to put in the water and stay healthy, hopefully. Yeah. The, the hazard in the, ga in the gas stations is the public restrooms. So the what? The public restrooms. Yes. Yeah. Pumping, gas gonna, pumping gas isn't going to be the problem. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I did just read something about different risk things. Yes, and that's the and public restrooms actually drop down. But here's the thing, Phil and I talked about this because um, at some point we're going to want to go to New England. We can't just stay in here for two years. You know? Yeah. So, but um, one of the things we talked about is is don't go to like the big places like the Loves and the and the regular stops mm -hmm. go to those intermediate ones where you have to drive a couple of miles off the road and 12 people go there that might be a lot safer than going to the big ones where there's so many the high traffic volume yeah restrooms they, they they also say take start collecting your plastic kroger bags and put those on your hand when exactly. you're exactly yeah Oh, that's a good okay. idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ra rather than going down that rabbit hole, which you could get, <laughs> I, I just want to make an observation yeah. for this group since we log back in. Kathleen and Susie both have violet on or purple. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So yeah. I, I'm going to challenge you all. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> I'm going to challenge you. I even have, have a bra on. <laughs> this is actually maroon. I'm surprised it's coming across as it's fine. It is. Purple. Yeah. Purple. So next time, let's all wear purple. All right. Okay. okay. Well, hopefully okay. next well, time I'll be on the boat. We'll see. So I, have, I have a request. Um, yeah. all right. and, um, so I've started a project. I started a, um, a YouTube page. And I put up my first book to reading to my grandchildren. So the only book I had at home for small children was Green Eggs and Ham. <laughs> Good one. So I read Green Eggs and Ham. The library is still closed. The, I, I tried to find some stuff on um, the online version because I, you know, I've got that. Um, but I would really like if anybody has children's books that I can just borrow. Paula? And, yeah. Sure. I'll trade you the cat who wore a pot on her head for green eggs and ham, because I did the same thing yesterday, except I'm doing it, um, I'm just doing it in Google Photos and doing it as a share. But I sent my first one yesterday and Casey said the girls loved it and Mackenzie kept scrolling back to the beginning where I said hello to them by name. Oh. And she kept wanting to go back and get that. So yeah. let's work out a trade on those two. And okay. I have I have several others that I have to record and then you can borrow them. Okay. Um, All but right. yeah, if anybody else has any children's yeah, kids books. I just um, also, um, I ordered for Harper's birthday, she's eight. I got her the first two volumes of Winnie the Pooh. And then I had to go and order them for myself because I couldn't, I couldn't find a way to, anyhow. So um, when I'm done, uh, 
course, this is going to be chapter by chapter, right? I'll make a movie for each one, each chapter. But um, I have Winnie the Pooh, The House of Pooh Corners, and now we are six. So we can add those in at some point, too. I also have The Secret Garden. What I don't have for the littlest guy, my little guy, is any s small children book, you know, like... Mm -hmm. um, um, like baby books. Baby books. Could be oh, look and see if I do. Yeah, um, I, I probably I'm also going to do, Mackenzie has a quiet time every afternoon, so I, I ordered Amelia Bedelia because I love the Amelia Bedelia books. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to start during her quiet time just on um, house party reading. Okay. So tell me, how did that work on, the on what did you do, Google Share? Yeah, if you do, if you record it and it goes to Google Photos, oh, okay, then you can just share it with whoever else. There's a place to do share. I think, see, I think my kids are old enough that they can go to you to my YouTube channel and pick out which one they want to listen to. Now all I have to do is get my son to tell them where it is. <laughs> I, oh, have a, I have a book I can send you if you want to email me your address. It's, it was a duplicate at Christmas time. So oh. I'll send it to you. Oh, oh that nice. was so generous. Here we were yeah. just going to be dropping just, them off. On it's each other's just sitting there. So just email me your address and I'll send it to you. Okay. Oh, wow. How generous, Sam. Yeah? And when I get my, when I finish the ones I have here, I was going to do the same thing, Paul. I was going to put out a request to people. Hey, I'm going to do it to our, um, to our book group. I'll, I'll, I'll post it because. Actually, it, my next door neighbor has a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. So she probably has a lot of. Yeah, I, I think it, you know, especially the little ones, you can record those quickly. I mean, mm -hmm. let's see, it took the running, the run time for um, Green Eggs and Ham is like a little under 10 minutes. So. Have you guys seen, we just happened to, on YouTube, I don't even know the guy's name, but he's an actor, and he's reading um, the uh, James and the Giant Peach, oh. and he has all these, like, Meryl Streep is one of the ants, so they do it chapter by cool. chapter. They're really lovely. Yeah. Your kids the might love to, to tune into that. I think if you just... Um, Google YouTube James and the Giant Peach, you might get those. The yeah, other one, the, the Obamas are doing it as well. The Obamas the are reading. The goal of this is to yeah. like, have my grandchildren not forget who I am. Who you, you know? are, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, That's there's lots for me. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there, but um, um, I, I really like it to be way more, way oh, yeah. more personal. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Marguerite's lucky because her grandkids are in town, aren't they, Marguerite? Yes, they are. Yeah. Why are they today? Where are they? They live right close to me. No, usually they're there at your house when we're meeting. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> <laughs> today the mother is off now, so oh. today they can stay home. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it easier. Well, thank, thank you for. Um, yeah. Anne, can I ask you a question about one of your pieces of artwork? Sure. You you had a piece that you did um, in coordination with one of the cities where it was um, all hands done out of iron, mm -hmm. iron work. Is that piece still standing, or was it? Yeah, no, it's that's a permanent. That's there's a street. 32nd Street used to be the main thoroughfare north out of town. And then they put in the state route 51. And so they're trying to kind of, you know, revitalize that area. So um, we, it was a public art call. And I, it's a really strong neighborhood. So I thought about the monarch butterflies and how they fly to one place. Oh, yeah. So the hands are duplicated um, and cut out like butterflies, kind of like that. But we had about 1,400 citizens um, trace their hands. Wow. So the cutouts Ooh. are their hands, and they are they kind of spiral up these sleeves that go on the light poles. Okay. I wasn't sure if they were... Um like actually soldered to the light poles or how they were put on the light they're, poles? They're bolted and glued. It's, you know, they, they have to be iron 
waterproof, you know. So it's yeah. a rusted steel, but it's pretty thin. And then um, the sleeve that they're on is perforated. So they just, they go into these holes and then they, they're self, um, threading screws. Plus they put this glue on them that is like, they say they put airplanes together with it. Wow. So it's some kind of super strong stuff. So it's the screw and the glue that hold it on there. Did you actually cut them out yourself or did you send them to a machine shop or? Yeah, I worked with a signage fabricator. You know, in my career as a graphic designer, wow. most of our work was signage. So I used to materials in the public space. So yeah. I had a contact at a fabricator and so we worked together on that. That's great. They did the work. I we went I went there and we put one together with me there and then they did it from then on. Yeah. yeah. That was just amazing to see. Susie, do you have a waiting room for this? Um, I do. Is somebody in there? Carol Klein's been trying to get in, but she's been getting a wrong password message. Huh. Which also I don't about see huh? her. I don't see her in a waiting room. Okay. She, when she puts in the password, she gets a wrong password message. And that happened to me the first time this morning. Too. Yes, to me too. Really? Yes. Yeah. I had to try several times. With a Susie Hope? Uh-huh. Huh? huh? first time. That's, that's weird. I'm going to take this moment to let y'all know I need to leave. All right, Kate. Okay. Thank you, Anne. Okay. We Hi, love Kate. you. Nice meeting you. Maybe if Kate leaves, yes. there'll be room for Carol. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to jump off, too, because I've got some phone calls I need to make. But, Anne, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. That was fascinating. And maybe I'll be inspired to make some more. Yay! <laughs> well, I'm taking I'm taking my little loom up to the boat, so I'll have to see if I can do red and blue. The other, I think that Susan's going to put it on our website. Susan, okay. the you talked about the CBS Good Mornings. Is that what you talked about, Margaret? No, the the group that Anne mentioned mentioned that also does some work. Tiny pricks. <laughs> Tiny pricks? Pricks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. P, P as in theater? P-R-I-C-K-S. Yeah. Tiny pricks. Okay. Like the prick of a needle, but she's okay. always talking about something else. <laughs> but other than. Well, I'll have to look that up. Yeah, it's fun. Sounds like a good one. Your, your um, the project that you did ground cover was that the one with the blankets? Yes. Oh. How did you get them all distributed? Because yep. there were hundreds, right? There were three hundred blankets. Wow. I, you know, just the same way as this project. You know, like I'm always curious to know how people hear about it, but there were. Not as many states. There are about 22 states. Yeah, I hadn't heard now. about that. Yeah. Sort of mouth. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that was the bigger commitment. People had to make a whole blanket, which was 28 squares. So, huh. you know, this is a little, people can do a little less right. and get involved. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. But what so a lovely project. The, the crime scene. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was that one I read about. I thought that was that was kind of cool. Um, even though what it was standing for um, was, you know, not. But I mean, it, I don't know. I don't know how to explain what I'm feeling. But I thought it was interesting. Well, talk yeah, about as a result of that 13 yeah. Fridays project, I did a lot then for the next gosh, maybe four or five years, I did a lot of work with people experiencing homelessness. So I, I actually, to be honest, had to step away for a while because it was difficult. Was it like you were working with social justice issues? Just, the homeless, just um, really, it, um, I had a group called Street Gems. I think you can see that on the website. We still yes. do. We still make a few flowers here and there, but my idea was to just 
have people make because I think there's power in making and the feeling of having accomplished something. So um, that, you know, that that's really where I started going with my work with homeless people is to teach them to crochet and we made a big caution field. I think you can see that on the website too. Yeah, right? I did. Yeah. So, um, but it's, you know, it's a challenging group of people to work with. Somehow I have totally lost, <laughs> lost the image. I can hear you though. Oh. Which is interesting. I can see you. Oh, really? Yeah, I, <laughs> I can't see myself, but then, well, at least you can hear me. I was, 